Well, welcome to Oregon. The rain finally stopped. Uh, when I was putting in my reversing camera here, you know, for the dash cam, reverse camera, I connected it up to the uh, reversing live. And when I wanted to test it by putting it in reverse gear, these lights did not come on. So I thought, oh, that's a problem. So first thing I did was check the fuses, fuses fine. Next thing was to come out here, make sure that the light bulb was all right. And the next thing I to do is to check to make sure that you have a good ground on there. You know, make sure that this wire is actually grounding this base. So this is how I did it. Just take your multimeter and turn the dial to ohms setting that's resistance from the negative wire i put a crocodile clip from the end of the negative probe to the chassis and then the positive probe i'm going to touch to the casing of the light and see what happens then see if we have any connection there yes we do it's actually connecting it's not a very good connection but we definitely got one there we go so we know that that's okay the ground is actually connected i'm next going to test to see if there's any power actually going to the light fixture itself to test that out you set your multimeter to the voltage range and i'll put it 20 volts because your battery's 12 so you don't want it any higher than that uh, keeping the connection to the chassis there nothing coming out nothing coming out okay so we don't have any power coming here we've got power at the fuse but not power here so i understand that when you put it in reverse gear there's a switch on the transmission on the gearbox and when you push it in reverse it actually engages that switch there which then turns on the reversing lights so that's the next part i'm going to look at and see this wire here come onto a switch and that will be for the reverse gear here so let's go up and see where that leads to the wires are yellow and purple yellow and purple wires so let's see where that goes all right we're coming under the hood now i'm just going down there oh, there's a bee here's looking for somewhere to build a house i think uh, that way there was wiser being cut because this is purple and yellow that's the one going down the gearbox so <laughs> there's the answer there just, just got to find out where it goes it probably goes to the uh, fuse box I would imagine but because these wires are exposed we can test whether the switch on the gearbox is actually working so let's do that I've got the transmission in reverse gear I've got a um, the negative from the multimeter and it's set to resistance and a uh, crocodile clip to the switch we'll see what happens there there you go so it is looks like it's making there okay now i've took it out of reverse gear and i'll collect to the other side of the purple wire down there so we have a contact and nothing so that tells you that the switch works it does have a high resistance though but maybe it's supposed to be that way um, unfortunately this fuse box under the dash here is not marked at all but luckily I have a manual an old manual and that's got the layout of the fuses i know it's fuse number 13 so i look through the wiring diagram so we just got to locate this fuse and we'll see if there's any power even going to that fuse uh, 
I took out the fuse box from the motorhome so I couldn't figure out which wire was going to what, which is quite easy. So um, in the manual it says it's uh, fuse number 13 and that brings you up to this fella here, I'll put a little arrow on it so I can find the wire that goes on the connector, find what colour that is and go on through because that is a fuse there and it's the green one and the fuse is intact so it looks alright. Now then, and what, when, what goes here is a contactor relay. to the fuse and on to the backlight is my way of thinking because there's a big power connector there that I had to take off the other thing I noticed here so I'm going to figure out which wire it is I'll take you on through what I find but look at this a bent board the board is actually bent I'm, I'm apprehensive to try and re-bend it straight I might break some traces here but I'm not seeing any traces or damage to the traces because of the bent board here. So that was lucky. I think perhaps if all this circuit, printed circuit was on the other side, it might have cracked something. But no, that's just, uh, just fuses on this side. And continuing on. So what I'm going to do now is get this connector and find out what colour wire goes to number 13 number 13 okay now here's the connector that will go there and following this trace through here it looks like it goes to this one here which is green and yellow and also yellow so there you go just got to figure out where this the green and yellow fellow goes, isn't that funny that there's two of them? So we'll figure out how that all put ties in. So now what I'm going to do is trace these up behind the dashboard and see what happens then. You will take your time and this uh, cover on the dashboard will just pop off, you know, and then you can just press these buttons down here, these clips there and the speedometer, pressure and all that will come off and then you just got to trace it through which I just did and it all comes and that wire comes to uh, here I believe yes it comes into there so then we're going to trace out where it goes from here see which direction it is I downloaded a PDF of the Winnebago service manual this is for a Winnebago Le Charo, Utility Van and the Tasca Phaser. This one's 87 to 89, mine's in 85, but this is roughly something similar I would say. Now, a table of contents. I'm trying to look for information for wiring to the reversing light on the on the back of the motorhome. So you wanna know where that circuit is, so you you would go, oh. You know, so you're going, okay, well, it'll be the, in the electrical section. Section D, of course, that's where it would be, one would think. But no, there was no information at all about the reversing lights. Now, <laughs> I've been went through this for hours, and I eventually found it. I found information as to where part of the wiring was, was in the automatic transaxle which has nothing to do with um, the reversing lights but if you have this PDF and you want to find information go to F2-28 and that will give you um, an image of what is joined to the reversing light the backup camera and guess where it goes to the computer okay unfortunately they don't tell you where the computer is so I ended up going on a, um, a hunt for it and this is it here so going up here it's this component description this is the computer and coming from that computer 
is a line can you see that going down to your tail to your tail lights and that says number five that's number five bag up lights so with that information I was able to find out where it all went well I've been looking all over for the computer but it turns out that somebody had taken it out before I got it because this vehicle was not running but I figured out which wire it is <laughs> that goes to the rear view the sorry the backup lights if I have connected that pin which seems to be attached to the wire going through I'll just temporarily connect to the positive on the battery and uh, yeah time to pat oneself on the head it's these connectors here at least this connector goes did go to the computer I believe so um, that and that wire up there I don't know if you can see it I'll cut it off and show you so now all I have to do is get those two wires from the uh, reverse and gear switch those two down there connect one to a hot and the other into here and one of these wires might actually be coming from the fuse box so I'll test that too and just remember guys don't be intimidated by an inanimate object just do it as far as you can and think about it and go back So you take your, your wire, I'm using 14 gauge, which <laughs> will carry 10 amps, no problem. But, when you strip it, just strip it a half an inch or slightly less, three eighths of an inch there. Because that's going to go in a connector that looks an awful lot like this. And then just ease it in there, not too far, otherwise you won't get the other end in there. So, and then use your crimp, crimping pliers here, and give it a good squeeze down. And then once you've got it squeezed, give it a good tug, make sure it's nice and tight. Yep, that looks good. And then once you do that, you put it on, on that one down there. Can you see it? That fell over there. Once you've got these two black wires attached to the yellow and purple that go back to the switch on the um, manual gearbox, the reversing switch, then we're going to bring them up and uh, I'm going to do a, a test and see what the, where the hots are, what is hot and what is not. And where I want is what is hot to come on when I turn on the ignition switch. So we'll see how that works. All the top left pins are hot and one top right pin is hot as far as all give those give 12 volts and the other ones are not giving 12 volts. So what I'll do now is we'll take out the fuse that goes on the circuit board that feeds the review lamp and see if that affects the 12 volt on one of these pins. Okay, I'm going to take out this this one here this green fuse because that's the one and this is the fuse to the reversing light on the original circuit so let's see what happens then see if that affects those pins under there now and the wire that energizes what well, de-energizes when you remove the fuse is this one here and it is yellow it's a yellow fellow so I'll connect one end here to the switch wire, the black switch wire, one of these guys down here, and the other end of the switch wire I'll connect to the rear lights. See if that works. And just to reiterate, one about the black switch wire is attached to a purple wire here, and the other black switch wire is attached to a yellow. And that's a coincidence because uh, <laughs> these switch wires are originally purple and yellow too and that is when you put it in reverse 
so that is exactly the circle that we want both lights are on we can't see too well it's uh, quite sunny out here right now late in the afternoon I like to keep me wire and tidy by putting these little nylon ties here so the wires that go down to the gearbox there they're all supported with these little ties just stop the heavy stops everything just flopping around you know so all done this is how the actual circuit is laid out we've got a 12 volt battery and there's a red wire that goes from the positive of the battery to the fuse board with several fuses on it I've just put one on just to make it easier to understand so the red wire goes to the fuse and from the other side of the fuse it goes to a yellow green wire which goes to the computer now somebody took my computer it doesn't have one in I don't need it so I just jump at this wire to that one so the electricity can flow to this switch this switch is attached to the transmission the 12, uh, was it 4 speed gearbox and when you put the gear lever into reverse it closes the switch and it allows the electricity to travel down this purple wire and there's a, a connection there where the purple wire turns into a black wire it goes to the base of the backup light and then that lights and like any circuit you have to return back to your battery at some point so you get a wire from here which is white and that goes to the ground on the chassis the chassis being um, joined to the 12 volt battery so the electricity is able to go down here oops excuse me the electricity is able to go down here along the chassis and back to the 12 volt battery when you move the gear lever out of reverse it opens that switch and does not allow that light to light up which is what you want for that backup light it's a feeling of great satisfaction when you can figure out a circuit and make it work great project i don't know what's next but thanks for watching bye bye